I was walking around in Leeds recently and uh, I happened to wander past the PC World that we've got here. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know who PC World are, um, for, for the Americans, think CompUSA. Yep, the company that was so shit they've just gone bankrupt. Um, basically, they've got the, the similar kind of thing whereby they will um, effectively rip off and take advantage of customers who don't fully know what they're doing. Um, you know, they're, they're constantly up, up selling to newer, well, to, to more expensive things that people might not even need or use. Um, they've got the, uh, the, tr the usual traditional oh, extended warranty that they'll try their hardest to, uh, to not even fulfill. So if you've got a problem on the PC, they'll find some way to weasel out of it. Uh, I think the best one that I've seen has been um, somebody's uh, complained that the machine was uh, sold uh, was supplied with less RAM than was advertised. They were sent uh, sent the RAM by the uh, by the company, and um, when they opened up the uh, the case, they invalidated their warranty, and so they found out when it next broke. So, yeah, dodgy, dodgy fucking company. Um, I only use them so I can actually have a look at the physical product. Um, and then I'll just go on there and buy it cheaper, better. Um, but anyway, uh, I was walking past the side of the uh, side of the building and they've got their little price list for their tech support. Now, they've got this little corner of the shop where you can bring in your PC. It doesn't have to be one that they've supplied. It can be any PC, and they will provide certain tech support on it, be it, um, you know, putting in new hardware, installing software, if you're lazy enough, um, you know, giving it a maintenance, basically just clean it out and delete some of the temporary files. It's a few seconds worth of work. Um, another one was transfer files from, um, you know, transfer your data from one machine to another. Now, personally, I don't like the idea of somebody else fiddling around with my personal data. Um, you know, if they're going to do it, I want to be standing there watching them. Because I've I've heard horror stories whereby um, if they've discovered porn on your machine, they uh, you know they they take copies of themselves, uh, take copies of it for themselves. So if if they've done that, what's to stop them from going? Oh, that's the person's banking details. If you're dumb enough to save it on your machine, you know. I'll, I'll just take them as well. It's, I, I don't trust other people with my data. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't expect anyone else to trust other people with your own data as well. Um, and the fact that they're charging 30 quid for this, you know, for the, for the file transfer, amongst others, I mean, I've, I think I've seen them charging 20 quid for putting in a video card. I mean, come on! This is just a fucking rip-off. A small amount of research on the net will allow you to, to at least figure out how to do this yourself and save you the money. You don't need to be ripped off like this. I mean, one of the easiest things you can do is, if you've got a friend who is interested in computing, um, has a fair bit of, uh, of um, oh, what's the term, fair bit of experience in the field, um, maybe they're even, you know, within the IT department themselves, um, just ask them, just say, you know, oh, would you, uh, would you be, you know, if you're a friend of them, if you don't really know them, then it might be a bit on the dodgy side. They'll probably have the same res response that I will. No, go away. Because guaranteed, uh, looking at it from the IT pro professional side, guaranteed, slight thing that goes wrong, you're going to get a phone call from them. So the, the, thi the thing that you need to do is just, if it's, a, if it's a good friend, you know, just be nice to them, buy them some beers, or, you know, just, don't treat them as your personal tech bitch. Uh, just you know, oh, I've I've got a new PC. Would you be willing to transfer this across? And you know, make sh make it aware that you're not going to be constantly harassing them about any little thing because, well, you last uh, you you transferred it. You last did it. You last saw it. I'm sorry, but you know, that's the kind of thing you get a contract for. Um, but I mean, the, the the pricing that they've got is just way OTT. Um, I don't know how to say, 30 quid for transferring files, I'm sorry, but there's a number of different ways you can transfer the files. I, it's not 30 quid's worth of work. It really isn't. I mean, if it's a non-home version of, uh, of Windows, then, you know, it's a case of connecting over the network and transfer the files that way. Um, let's see, for, Microsoft have even produced the uh, Files and Settings Transfer Wizard. Never, pardon me, too much beer already early morning um, you know there's too much uh, well, <laughs> lost my train of thought now ah no um, no there's 
I've never used Files and Transfer Wizard myself. Um, I, I don't trust an application to do stuff for me. So, I mean, if any of you guys have got experience of it, and if you found it to be quite good, let me know. I'll uh, I'll certainly mention it in the next uh, next video. Um, but uh, personally, I'd much rather do it manually. Just move the stuff across. At least I know that if anything's missing, my fault. I don't blame something else. And um, you know, it's I I just don't trust things to do stuff for me. Um, another one of the best solutions you can do is go out and buy yourself an external hard drive. Um, basically then just store all your data on that. If you want to access your document, unplug it, plug it into the new machine. Boom! It's there. It's available. Double click. Done. The only problem that you've got there is with things such as um, applications that uh, house libraries. A good example of this, iTunes. I mean, it is easy uh, to be able to get iTunes to to pick up um, your data. All you have to do is just drag and drop the um, drag and drop the uh, the iTunes folder from within my documents across into the on your profile, and boom, it's there. Um, you might have to reconfigure it uh, depending on how it is um, to actually point it to the right location for where you've saved the files. Um, but it it is pretty simple. Um, I might do a, a video. Uh, basically just going through this process because I've had to do it recently with my system dying on me um, but other than that it's, it's simple stuff that you can do yourself with a little bit of uh, reading up, a little bit of looking for tutorials and you can save yourself a load of money, you don't need other people to fuck about with your system to meddle with your data and then charge you for the privilege you can do it yourself or at the very least ask a friend if they can help you either by them doing it or by them giving you the advice how they would do it. it it can't hurt as long as you're not moving and you just copy and paste it's you've still not interrupted the old machine so if it's not fully working on the new one you can resort to the old one so you know or if, if you've got something that's dead just quiz them say it's, my PC won't turn on anymore any ideas why and nine times out of ten someone will be willing to give you an answer um, you don't need to be paying extortionate amounts of money. Although personally, I can see the uh, the whole uh, support business moving towards the the equivalent of plumbers, where you'll call your local IT technician and they'll just come in, have a look, sort it out for you. The only problem there will be we've seen it on programs like Rogue Traders in the UK, where they will rip you off as much as PC World does. Only they may go even worse by putting in defective or lower quality products than the one you had before and then just pocketing perfectly fine bits of equipment so it's be careful, go for people that you know and you know, try to do it yourself most of the fun and joy is being able to know how to do it not sat there going ah I don't know what's going on learn for yourself if, uh, if you've got any advice with regards to this um, or if you've got any experience with, uh, with PC World tech support um, just let me know. I'd love to f uh, love to hear just how poor they are, or if they've really exceeded your expectations and done exactly what they said they were going to do, or gone further and actually have earned the right to have that money. Just let me know. Go over to www.pissednurse.com and just let me know. See you later. Bye.